And we're back. Good stuff. Yeah. So, Justice, we uh, always include uh, the question of the show uh, okay. after oh. we come back. And uh, today's... Oh, that's right. We forgot, we forgot our jazz, jazz hands. hands last oh. time. Okay. Whoops. All right. That makes it even more special. <laughs> oh, okay. That's right. So, today's question comes Hashtag to us... Hashtag hands. Hashtag hands. It's gang oh. song. Geek gang, song. Geek gang songs. Oh, I like that. Sorry. <laughs> what? Christina... <laughs> <laughs> Christina, Bang! That just happened. <laughs> then that's a uh, never mind. Uh, Christina Thomas of Go Epicurista. Oh, I love her blog. Uh, com asks uh, our question today: How do I best promote my blog to get more followers? How do you do it, Bess? What's one of your best practices? Oh, my best practice that I tell everybody is to promote everybody else's blogs. Yeah. Any particular way? Just on Twitter or? Um, well. I always find it's reciprocal. If you are putting out other people's stuff that's great stuff, uh, it's inevitable that they'll eventually return the favor to you. And so I actually follow the 10 to 1 rule on Twitter. So you're going to tweet or retweet other people's stuff 10 times before you tweet one time for your own blog. And you'd be amazed by putting that niceness and that good karma out there, it definitely comes back to you. So that's my best tip for getting new followers to your blog. All right. Um, one of the things that I like to try and do, you know, we talk about guest posting, yep. right, to write on somebody else's blog, but I, I think sometimes we, sometimes we are very narrow focused, so if we have a fitness blog, we would only guest post on other fitness blogs. Right. And after a while, you've already guest posted on the, that community, so how else do you get more followers? So one strategy that I learned a while back that I've tried here and there is to find what can I write about in my expertise in different other niches? So for example, if you're a travel blogger, could you write on a mm -hmm. finance blog and talk about how to save money when you travel or those kinds of things? If you are a uh, couponing blogger, could you find a fashion blogger and write some deals along that side? So what are those other areas that you haven't tapped into that you can find some relevant content? And that, would, that just opens up a, a limitless market. I'm sorry, we had a camera difficulty on that side. <laughs> All good? Okay, keep going. We're good. Uh, and I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you got all that. <laughs> Justice, what about you? Uh, well, um, you're really great at stealing my thunder. We did, we did this presentation once many moons ago where I did 40 tactics in 20 minutes. So I did uh, two tactics <laughs> a minute. Right. And she gets up before me about an hour prior to... Without having seen your presentation. And without, we had not seen one another's presentation at all. And I'm literally going through, I'm like, yeah, that's slide seven, that's slide 12, <laughs> that's slide 17, that's like, and she's just destroying me. And literally by the time I got up there, she had covered half of my deck. So. I was like, this is just awesome. So, uh, no, but I think probably what you're saying is really, really intrinsically uh, 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 crucial. Is when you develop content, whether it's a great presentation or whether it's a great blog, simply say, and it's always the simple things that get you really just natural conversation and natural followers, is simply say at the end, hey, um, if this uh, if if this is great for you, hey, can you share this? If not, maybe you know somebody in a business setting or in a in a different business that this might be applicable to. Maybe you could just share it with them. Simply just do the ask. It's not pressing anybody, and what it does is it just makes everybody for a moment go. You know, I do have a friend that this might actually uh, mm -hmm. carry over to. And that is just that one moment that they will probably uh, take and say, hey, check this article out. Very cool. So it's not for me, but it might be great for you. So let me ask both of you on the, on the idea of sharing. Because I read a lot of stuff in a feed reader, in Feedly. Mm -hmm. So do you then go to the blog to share things? Or are you sharing only across Twitter? Or do you share from within however you read blogs? Where do you, how do you manage uh, all that? I don't use any type of reader or no. feed. Um, so mine's always going directly to the blog itself and looking there. And then usually, so bloggers, at the end of your post, if you don't have some type of social share button down there, um, I like Shareaholics. It gives you the different options to share. Make sure you add that because that's probably the most common way that I share. I'll tweet it out right then. Mm -hmm. I think for me, uh, it, it's it's when I have something that I'm ready to tee up, like a blog post or a video mm -hmm. or a presentation, I, de I definitely want to touch um, my primary uh, social media touch points, my Twitter, my Facebook, you know, uh, possibly um, making an Instagram out of it or mm -hmm. constructing, a, you know, some other type of visual. Um, but most of the time I, I like to retweet and I just like to kind of make that natural. Uh, and and uh, other things too, I found great success utilizing tools like uh, RSS uh, readers 
that then, um, you know, if it's a blog that I follow, such as yours, um, I'll push it right back out. Because, I mean, I think that it's important to me that I am associated. So that, 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 that's something that I like to do. Great. Okay. So we'd love to hear your thoughts on today's question. You can send them via Twitter to uh, at Blog Talk TV. And if you'd like to submit a question to be featured on a future show, uh, you can email us to uh, Bess at flblogcon.com and include your social media profiles and we'll give you a shout out on there as well. Yeah, absolutely. Let us know. We can always grill our guests, whoever it is. So we're going to move on to my favorite part, show and tell, Yay. Uh, where we highlight some of our favorite tweets, blog posts, apps, tech gear, and more. So if there's something that you'd like us to see and check out, you can email us that too, Bess at flblogcon.com. But without further ado, Bess, what do you have for us? Oh, so mine is awesome. So I love taking selfies. I have a selfie stick. 19 bucks on Amazon, but that, the coolest thing about the it. the official name, selfie stick? No, I don't know what the official name is, but it's a selfie stick. So let me open up my phone. Open up the photo app. The thing I like about this, oops, wait, I gotta turn it around. Maybe. There we, there go. we go. Is watch this. So guys, get in. Camera crew, you guys in? And there we go. See, let me get you guys. Every time this, it's connected via Bluetooth to take the picture. So I don't have to be reaching out there to do it. And you don't have to waste time with the timer. And I'm more this way there. too. There Look we go. That. So my That's selfie fun. stick, 19 bucks, Amazon, Bluetooth. Get it. Done. How about you? Uh, I have this uh, little device it's, I don't know what the technical name for it is called, but it's a, a multiple USB drive. So I got it uh, at Amazon. And, uh, you know, your computer only has two USB drives. Yeah. So very quickly I found with it between a hard drive and oh, a microphone okay. and maybe a mouse and another hard drive or something, you don't have enough space here. Mm -hmm. um, so this has uh, three inputs on this side, another one on this side, so you can fit four of these inside there so you can charge your iPhone while you're doing work. And so it just... Uh, it's like 12 bucks and it just uh, has been a lifesaver so I you have can to unplug and replug so right. um, I'll find out the technical term in a moment external so USB know. external USB something device connected device. dongle what about you Justice what do you have for us um, I think for me is something that is uh, is something a lot of us are talking about uh, within the industry and that is uh, drone <laughs> photography so uh, little remote control drones uh, there are literally hundreds of companies that are developing drones that are both easy to fly and easy to manage you can be anywhere from a few hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars depending upon the type of camera that you intend to lift whether that's a full-size DSLR or whether that is something like a GoPro so um, the photography is absolutely amazing. The technology in these things is getting really, really streamlined and you can just have some amazing, amazing shots. And we've uh, utilized uh, some of that photography yep. for projects we've had in the past. Yeah, for yeah. events we've covered. That's right. uh, there's some skill though with, with there driving is, them there, There right? is, and, but the things that, that's happening now is that, that that is actually a new sales point uh, in drone photography in mm -hmm. that a lot of the newer drones that are coming out easy to fly or or right out of the box so everything is like right. really quick yeah program it like with a gps on yep. your iphone to different points or whatever device you may have set to sail and it's off it's on, awesome. on its way yeah so justice where can we find you online absolutely that's at justicemitchell.com and uh, you can pretty much find me at any one of those extensions at justice mitchell for twitter and uh at justice or justice mitchell at uh, instagram and all the other ones youtube you name it so and you can find me online at orlandowaterhole.com, download on iTunes, and if you think it's interesting, share it with a friend. That's right. There was the S. That's right. You brought it back around. That. Right. I like that. So you can find me, Bess Hour, at gottagetblogging.com or online at Twitter at Bess underscore hour. And I think that's it for this week. We're out of time. So, Justice, thanks for being on. Thank you for having me. I really we'll appreciate it. We'll see everybody next time. Take care. Thank you. I like you. I need, like, papers. I need